And still to come, I'll be reporting live from the Lake District, where nearly six months after the winter floods, a vital main road has finally reopened. More than five months after it was swept away by the winter floods, the main road linking the north and south of the Lake District has finally reopened. Businesses in the area had complained that the closure of the road between Grasmere and Keswick was damaging trade and motorists were faced with a 35-mile diversion. Now the three-mile stretch of road is open again and our correspondent Danny Savage is there. Danny. George, back in December, thousands and thousands of tonnes of boulders were swept down the fell sides here by the deluge which caused the winter floods. It destroyed the road, it blocked it in several places, it damaged the economy as well. But this morning, it finally reopened to the great relief of everybody living around here. The record-breaking rainfall of last December destroyed this road in places. Landslides also swept down the fells, leaving drivers marooned. It's been forward five and a half months. The road is back, but you can still see the damage. Everyone remembers the night it happened. We were driving home, came across this black hole in the middle of the road. It was dropping away in front of me, so I just put the car in reverse and went backwards. I feel very lucky to be alive. The closure left this national park divided. Local people say visitor numbers fell off a cliff. Half a year of having the main road closed has been painful. It's turned the A591 into a long cul-de-sac. In fact, somebody did comment to me that it was actually worse than foot and mouth year because at, we, at least during foot and mouth year, we knew that there would be an end to this. What businesses in the Lake District said they really wanted was for this road to reopen before the main tourist season started. And so here we are in mid-May with the weather set fair and the north and south of this national park reunited. One, two, three. Yay! So there was a bit of a fanfare this morning, accompanied by general relief. It's absolutely amazing. Just, just that feeling of just being able to drive over that road from my house, just doing the school run, it's just, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's going to make such a difference to the whole community. Ministers say the work was completed as quickly as possible. And it wasn't all bad news. A temporary bus route around the closure became a tourist attraction in its own right. Our bed and breakfast owner said, you have to try this temporary route. It's a different route. It's much more picturesque. So uh, we just took him up on it. And it was worth the journey. Half a year after a battering from the weather, things are getting back to normal here. Danny Savage, BBC News, 